think it's awesome that you're bringing awareness to the deaf community. So it's a lot harder and it makes me really sad. I don't know what to do! Uh. ASL, you know, it made me really sad. What made you really sad? So ASL is just a really good class to take. I said it Tell before, me. I'll ASL say it again. American, American Sign Language. Sign language. Um, this is mine! Well, it was hanging, so you, yeah. Huh. Ah, where, where did you, you end up with that? Well, it was hanging on the hook. Hmm. All right. There, there you have it. Anyways, um, American Sign Language class that I really enjoyed taking. Um, but it's really hard to learn online, like over like Zoom calls and Google Meets and stuff like that, which it shouldn't, I mean, that's how, I mean, like in the deaf community, like you, like you can't call people, so you communicate right. through like FaceTime and stuff. Right. But when you're learning, it's harder to, you know what I'm saying? Sure, because sure, in sure. the classroom, half of the knowledge that I acquired in my head, he encourages us in class he encourages us in class to talk amongst ourselves, you know, like with our other classmates. Verbally? No, I mean sign. Oh, okay. Like to sign to like our other classmates. And so like it helps our conversation. Like it just, it, it's like, yes. it's like going, well, we're not allowed to talk. We're not allowed to talk verbally at all in that class. Right. And, or eat or anything. So like we're always focused on signing. It's like going to Spain and learning Spanish like you have Full to immersion, like right? immerse your immerse yeah immerse immerse, immerse <laughs> yourself in like like the Spanish culture right if you want to learn Spanish but for sign language it's different because there's no deaf country there's right. but there's the deaf community so you have to like so learning it is easiest when you are fully immersed and you can like, si you just don't stop signing. Like and you're not allowed to talk and everybody sign. around you is signing. If we like in class, we go off on tangents, but it was good because we were right. all signing to each other anyway. Right. So as long as we're signing to each other, which is all we were allowed to do, it was helping us learn. Long story short, we can't do that on Zoom calls because you can't have private conversations with people on a Zoom call. You can't like, a lot of things we say in the class are typed because there's so many different screens, Mr. Dobbs can't tell when everyone's trying to send, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a lot harder and it makes me really sad because I really enjoy that class and this is my last year that I'm taking it with him oh. because we only have up to ASL 3, but um, in high school, then you should go to Then I have to go to community college, college right? but I'm excited for that. Um, so it's like, that's really sad. But um, aside from that, we were talking about Thanksgiving today mm -hmm. and um, There's, I mean, I guess, I don't know if it's like a real thing, or Mr. Dobbs just called it this, mm -hmm. but dinner table syndrome. Oh. Which is basically, well, okay, so 10% of deaf kids, this is the information he told us, so if I'm wrong, please don't come <laughs> at me. 10% of deaf children don't have deaf parents. Or ten, no, 10% 10 of deaf children have, have deaf, deaf parents. parents. So 90% don't. So 90% don't. So he was talking about how him personally how he felt uncomfortable. Were and his parents deaf? No. Okay. And how he, like, during Thanksgiving, sometimes deaf people, I, I mean, this is what he said. Uh -huh. So I, th I think I'm saying this right. Uh -huh. Dread the holidays because when everyone is sitting, imagine sitting at a dinner table with our whole family. And everybody's and talking And everyone's and talking and laughing and then there's just you. Yeah. Just because... Because you're trying to understand, right. and you can lip read, which but I mean, you have to look at each Mr. Dobbs person. is a very good lip reader, yeah. but um, you can't follow. But you can't follow a conversation there. because there's a conversation over here, and a conversation over there, and a conversation over there. And if you're looking at the person across from you, and they're having a conversation with the person next yeah. to you, you can't turn all the way around to read their lips. So it's like, and then it's just like stressful, and you feel like alone and like Aww. awkward. And I literally got so sad. I was like, that is so annoying. Like, why can't deaf 
parent, I mean, it's all a decision. It's all a decision. Right. But right. I feel like if my kid was deaf, I would be more than happy to learn ASL, which I already am, and, and teach to family. teach the whole family right. and make sure that they at least tried. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. 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 And one of the big things that Mr. Dobbs says is like controversial, which I know it's controversial, like cochlear implant. Sure. Because some deaf parents, they're most of the time. Explain what a cochlear implant is. A cochlear is. implant is something that goes, it's like, it's supposed to like help you hear. It's a device. It's a device that, that goes medically. inside of your head. And it's like attached to your brain. Our neighbor has one. She she got one in one ear. And, and then she, got she just got one in her other ear. And it takes her like two years to get used to it for her brain to really understand what it's hearing. Yeah. So anyway, so the cochlear Anyways, implant is it, it's so controversial. It's controversial it's because the deaf most. I mean, I this is what I. Please don't you're get not, mad at me. I'm just trying to. I don't just, want. Well, I'm not, I don't. Learning. Yeah. Anyways, so mo, this is what Mr. Dobbs told us that most of the time. Most of the time, deaf parents, if they have a deaf kid, they're like, well, they already know sign language, so there wouldn't be a point in having them get a cochlear because they already know how to sign, and it's not like, sometimes they think that cochlear implants are meant to, like, fix people who are deaf, and the whole argument is deaf people don't need to be fixed, there's nothing wrong with them, right? So it's like... It's like, why would you, why would you get it in the first place? But then to hearing parents, it's like, we want our kid to hear because we can, we can hear. And, and, the, and then they won't have to learn sign language and it's just a whole different thing. So that's why it's controversial. But, um, that I think that's why more and more parents, but then there's the whole, like, when you're young, you have to, like, it works better when you get it when you're young. But then it's like, well, they didn't even have the choice, like they couldn't even make the choice for themselves. To have the opportunity to be part of the deaf community they were born into. Exactly. So it's like, it's this whole big debate if you're not familiar with sign language or the deaf community. If you are, I hope I said that right. <laughs> um, if not, please correct me in the comments just to wrap it all up. But yeah, so that's like, that's what Mr. Dobbs said is one of the big reasons that parents who have deaf children who are hearing parents don't learn sign language because once their kid gets a cochlear it's like oh well they're kind of hearing now you know yeah so it's like why they're well they're kind of hearing so it's fine like we don't need to learn you know what i'm saying and with the cochlear implant do you think that that people should also know sign language because it's not it doesn't fully i mean that's i don't allow them to hear? that's not up to me it's up to anyone who has one oh. their parents oh but what i'm saying is does a cochlear work so they can be fully hearing or will they also i don't think so them? i think it's all muffled i think it's all muffled i'm not sure i don't know how technology has changed since freshman year when we learned about them right but um i think it's more of like a muffled like muffled noises but um you know what i love and I then mr Dobbs also told us like in the beginning how like it's it's painful and like you you can't hear and then all of a sudden there's just a constant ringing in your head yeah. and then it's like what is this what's going yeah your, your and then it's like uh, exactly um i have to say so, so ever since you've been taking um asl i've been much more aware of the deaf community and i am so pleased every time i interact with someone who's assimilated and working in a regular job and they're deaf i love it that's just, another thing deaf yeah. people have experienced so much discrimination in I mean even yeah. like still now like no, it's not even it's like not. oh in the yeah. past it's like right. it's, it's still now because um like they're open to finding solutions to problems whereas sometimes employers are like oh well you can't you can't right. do that because you're deaf but it's like there are so many different ways as long as people just try to like to, to meet in the middle, there are so many different ways for for the for it to work. But employers have been like very discriminatory towards deaf people, which I think is so so like I just hate that. It just makes me very angry because there's so many there's solutions to everything, right. and instead of looking for problems, look for solutions. You know what I'm saying? Agreed, agreed. In, in every situation. Um, and Kate, I think it's awesome that you're bringing awareness to the deaf community and encouraging people to you guys, if you're looking for classes to take, oh, if you're, yeah, I think, I think everyone, I think 
people should just be educated I about know. like anyways right you know what i'm saying like, well like, okay this is what i want you to do and i've been wanting you to do this for a really long time just teach a basic sign language just teach us 10 signs hello thank you goodbye how are you i'm fine my name is if you could teach us that then that would help a lot of people be able to communicate like literally i was just at the store yesterday and the woman checking me out was deaf and i wanted to be able to have a conversation with her first of all i had a mask on she had a mask on so that's another she big thing even lip read, right <laughs> yeah. she couldn't lip read what i was saying and i but i could tell from the person in front of me who she waited on that that that, that she was she, she was deaf so when i came up i was thinking like going through my head like what do what i know, I know thank you that's all i ask what is, is, that that you know, is it this i don't yeah. remember but i did i did this and she was nice but like to tell me how much it cost she like turned the computer screen and pointed and, and you know so i'm just there's so many she, solutions yes. exactly it's the same like biddy and bows they're they're you know integrating people who normally wouldn't have been in the normal in in, in the workforce who haven't into, been in the workforce in the past it's, who are now are. I I I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And I try to um, patronize those those locations too. So anyway, so if you guys are looking for a um, um, a class to take, or if you're looking for a hobby a or hobby, something, yeah, anything. please yes, I would say ASL. That's definitely on my list. I would love to. Yeah, that. and taking the class really helps, like, understand. There's, so, like, the culture is so, so different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the deaf community, like, it's just, there's just, like, certain things that, like, you wouldn't know unless you yeah took Mr. Dobbs' class and he explained them to you. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? He's awesome. Yeah. It's a pretty popular class. Like, they're school. brutally honest about everything, yeah. and it's very... It's just it's refreshing. It's refreshing, right? yeah. All right, so listen, we are going to be late for Katie's hair appointment. Yeah, Thanks for right. um, hanging in there with us. So Kate's going to go in and get her hair done. We're not sure exactly. What... I don't know what to do. All right, well, wait. Let's talk with Jessica about it. Yeah, and we're going to talk with Jessica. Um, right on time. Bye. while still like keeping it healthy. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then I don't know like what to do for color because I kind of want to go dark. Like I've been wanting to go darker recently. Uh-huh. But like I don't know what to do. This is the closest thing to my natural color that I've ever had. And it's gorgeous. Because the last yes. time I like went brown, brown or like I feel like it was money. yeah, yeah, yeah. This so is. this is like very, and also all my split ends are gone, which Yay. is such a relief because we don't like split ends, but and it's a nice length too. Yeah, it's like perky, and she just looks so mature. Ah! Like how old? Because I can I pass as. 21. 16 and a half. <laughs> 16 and a half. I'm not even 16 and a half yet. Oh, that's what I'm saying. 
kidding. You would pass for 16 and a half. My half? Oh. <laughs> so I love it. Congratulations. Thanks, Thanks Mom. I'm so beautiful. happy with it. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, guys. Tune in a little later of tomorrow's video. We're actually going to go home and uh, prepare our Thanksgiving meal. So be sure to look, watch our video. It's going to be um, our Thanksgiving special. We have a lot of fun videos coming up. So we're going to say goodbye for now. Thank you so much for watching. I, I got to drive, so I'm going to pay attention. Can, can well, I'm like goodbye? waving and peace at the same time. <laughs> can you say goodbye and take us out? Bye. 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 Oh, wait. Meh. Meh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.